It was about one in the morning. My dog rang her bell, and I quickly got up to take her outside. When she wants to pee in the middle of the night, I don't take her very far, just in our side yard. I took a flashlight with me, in case she decides to poo so I could pick it up. I'm standing there, waiting for her to do her thing. She's doing the doggy walk in a circle. Then all of a sudden, my dog gets spooked and whips around. Out of the corner of my eye, I see this chick standing there. I didn't see her walk up. I didn't even hear her walk up. I just see her standing there, super still. Based on her position, she had to have come from between my house and my neighbor's house. Which is odd, because behind our houses, backs up to a green belt. It is probably 40 degrees outside, and this lady, about 20, is in super short shorts and a t-shirt. I looked at her, told her she scared me, and she mumbled something like, Nice night, what are you up to? Standing there, holding the leash with my dog, I said, I'm walking my dog. Then she said, Cool, do you know how to get into my house? I locked myself out, pointing at my neighbor's house. Now, I'm a good American, and I know my neighbors. And this wasn't my neighbor, who is a single 30 year old female. She hangs out with my wife, so I know her really well. So I asked her, that house? Pointing directly at my neighbor's house. She nodded. I said, you don't live there though. I know who lives there. She just scoffed and wandered her way into my backyard. I followed her and yelled, what the hell are you doing? She then took off running, scaled my fence, which item of note, it isn't an easy fence to scale, it is a deer fence. It is a see-through fence that goes up to 3 feet, with cattle gate. Then the top of the fence is stainless steel wire that runs horizontally. It is the type of thing that, if you weren't expecting it, you'd easily trip over, as it is extremely hard to see and not very common. Anyways, she scales the fence and runs away into the green belt. I always have my pocket knife on me, and was fortunate enough to have my unfortunately useless dog. So I looked around my house and the neighbor's house for other people, shined my light in the green belt and nothing. I have no idea how she wandered up back there, what she was doing, what she intended to do, but she scared the ever living shit out of me. I am a 21 year old male, 6 foot 3, 220 pounds. I'm a fairly big guy, I wasn't even worried about walking alone at night until this one fateful night. It wasn't too late, maybe around 10 a.m. I was walking around my suburb, like I usually do, and I had just hit this long stretch of sidewalk when I saw a tall, skinny woman along the path walking her dog towards me. Now, I understand I struck an imposing figure, so whenever I encounter others on my walks, I do my best to be less intimidating. So as I walk nearer to this woman, I say good evening, how's it going? You know, stuff to lighten the tension. This is where it gets weird. She says good evening, how's it going? Then she says it again, and again, three times in total. Each time she said it, she progressively got closer and closer to how I said it. Almost like she was doing an impression of me. That already kinda got me on the edge. Her dog starts approaching me. So she drags it away. Intent on my mission to lighten the mood. I laugh and say no worries. And then she laughs back and says no worries, three times. Once again, progressively approaching my vocal pattern. Except the laugh was rather robotic. By this time, I had passed her. But I didn't even want to look behind me. I just superpower walked the hell out of there. And when I got home, I immediately locked the door. Didn't sleep too well that night. I don't walk around late at night too often anymore. And when I do, I usually bring someone with me and make up the stupid excuse of wanting to socialize. When I was younger and stupider, and going to college in the northern Georgia mountains, my friends and I would go night hiking, and a lot of the trails were near the campus. I got pretty familiar with the area, and being out in the wilderness at the night in general, which probably made me too confident. One night, the full moon was out, and the weather was perfect, so visibility was crazy good. Everything was basically washed in dim blue light. I was slightly stoned and feeling adventurous, and I loved doing fun stuff alone, so I decided to go enjoy a night hike by myself. I took a flashlight, and this was around 2002, there were no cell phones. 
I chose a super easy trail that was mostly flat, maybe a mile loop in a pretty secluded area, but not exactly a national park or anything. It was a very rural area. I didn't even need my flashlight for most of it and just hiked in the moonlight. It was actually a really cool, beautiful experience at first. At some point, I started feeling uneasy and maybe a millisecond later, I heard a man's voice. It was coming from a good distance ahead of me, somewhere in the woods, maybe from the right side of the trail. He was crying. I'm honestly an empathetic person and 99% of the time I hear someone crying, I want to either comfort or help them in some way. But this time, I felt sick in the stomach, like a dry panic attack, if that makes sense. I remember coming very close to calling him out, because my brain was trying to tell me he might be hurt, which was the only reason I hesitated. But it was like my body shut my voice down before I could say anything, and I knew I had to stay very quiet. He was sobbing, like he just found out a loved one had died, but also gibbering and almost babbling, like he was less than a person. There was a shrillness to it, under his crying, like he was holding a back scream, but perpetually on and on, as if he'd been doing it all night. I remember it vividly, and my spine is tingling like crazy even when I write this. It's hard to explain, but I knew deep down, he wasn't right in the head, and nothing good would happen if he realized I was listening. I went back the way I came, it was like I had a tunnel hearing, and the only sound in the world was that crying. I was hyper aware of everything else around me and beyond paranoid that I would snap a branch or snag my boot or something. I worried the men's crying would get louder if I wasn't paying razor sharp attention, getting closer or turn into an outraged crazy person scream. Thankfully, it just faded the further I got from it and I made it back to my car. Still, I was convinced some wild eye hammered was going to rush out of the forest and bite me to death. Right up to the second I locked my doors and got the fuck out of there. I finally had the rest of my panic attack on the drive back. I managed to park back at campus and I just sat in the car and collected myself. Adrenaline is fucking powerful. <laughs>